The outline method organizes information by using headings and different spacings. In general, it will use headings, subheadings, points, and subpoints. The headings will help you to identify the important topics in the lecture. However, linear notes are unorganized. The information appears in the order that it was said in lecture. This slide shows a compare and contrast between a note made by using the outline method and a linear note. You can see in the note that was made using the outline method, the student has different subheadings. And they've also used symbols and abbreviations. Here's the handwritten version of the same note. In this case, the student was also able to use color to emphasize the different headings and types of conditioning. They've also used drawings, symbols, and abbreviations. The outline method is easy to use in lecture, and it organizes information based on different topics. However, it can be hard to identify how to organize the information based on these headings during the lecture, so you'll have to complete your class readings before you go to lecture. This method also may not show comparisons and connections very well. It is recommended that the outline method is used during lectures and for classes that are very structured. For instance, this method may work very well for some science and math courses.